Okay, so let's do a challenging question back on page 15, uh, 13. And so here is a question that imagine there is an object that got projected horizontally, so like this one. Um, I would like you to find out its acceleration vertically, which apparently should be the gravitational acceleration. So imagine a, a photograph of the whole motion has been taken for every 0 0.2 seconds so apparently uh, you can say this at the beginning is 0 seconds and this is 0 0.2 this is 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and this is 1 second so how are you going to find out this gravitational acceleration of course um, it, it may not be exactly 9.81 or 10 so try to find it out and we will check the answer later be careful this may not be as straightforward as it, you may think you may need to recall the idea of ticker tape timer which is something that you should have used in IGCSC something like this one do it just do it okay so let me show you a wrong way of doing it so that uh, you can understand why I will make it as a challenging question uh, here. So in case um, you may do the same, then I guess uh, it, it will be wrong as well. I mean, this, this is exactly what I want to do. So some of you may think, hey, so A acceleration is V minus U over T. And so apparently for vertical, the U is zero. So we just have to find V and then we have to find t also and substitute and you should be able to find the answer and so what you may think is as for v then you can you can say vertically it has passed through five meter in one second apparently so uh, even though i got five point here but then you can see uh, this is the same so we just look at the vertical so divide by one so you may think uh, vertical for v y is five meter per second and so uh, that will be 5 divided by the time t which is again 1 or 1 minus 0 if you say then you may find 5 meter per second square and like I said uh, this is a wrong answer okay and I'll explain to you in a second so uh, why is it wrong is because if you think about what you learn in take a timer then you should realize when you try to calculate for say this V uh, you use the whole length which is 5 meter to calculate uh, in fact the velocity is actually changing right since there's acceleration of course it's changing and so the velocity that you are calculating is actually an average velocity so average ve velocity does not represent the velocity at one second instead think about if this is a uniform accelerate accelerated motion then this average velocity should be representing the velocity at what time it should be representing when you are at maybe around here when the time is 0 0.5 second so this is where you have the velocity so in fact if you really want to use this approach to do it um, again this is the wrong way the correct way to do it could be v minus u over t and u is still zero it's fine that you can count it as zero that is like at the beginning and v if you use five then you have to you have to realize that the time when it is at five like literally five meter per second is when it is 0 0.5 seconds and so the time delta t you take is actually 0 0.5 minus 0 and so eventually you get the answer of 10 meter per second square so of course yeah the answer yes is, is actually 10 meter per second square like what we normally have on earth but then you have to be careful with where the time is when you talk about average velocity or instantaneous velocity because they are different idea okay so whenever you see a question like this uh, saying oh you take photo or take a timer something like that you need to be more careful 
there's another way of doing it which I can show you right here is by using the kinematics equation so imagine you have u equals to 0 s equals to 5 and t equals to 1 and you want to find a right because u is 0 is not you can't you can't argue anything you don't even need to calculate you know it is 0 for vertical and then s is 5 t is 1 throughout the whole motion and then by that time you reach to 5 meter and in fact in that case then you can use uh, the equation s equal to ut plus half a t square and s will be 5 u is 0 so making this component 0 half a 1 square okay or a bracket maybe and so by solving it you get simply 10 equals to a so at the end of the day that means um maybe i, I write this way a equals to 10 meter per second square you should still get the same answer as what we have all right and uh, both of these two approach are correct all right will be quite reliable and to be honest if i call this number one and this is number two i personally prefer number two more because you don't have to think about what is the time when it is in the middle and then you have to work it out uh, it's quite annoying in that case and so uh, i would like to use like the approach two instead because you just have to lay out the information the equation like the guess method we have and we can already find the answer the only thing that you need to be careful is uh, really you have to use the right time at the right displacement in this case okay so this is uh, one of the an obvious challenging question